So today I'm going to show how we can use spying in uh, Spring Boot. So spying is a Mokito functionality that allows us to partially mock an object. All right, so the object that we want to spy is this date service Spring Bean. And if I navigate to that implementation, it, you can see it has two methods. It has a fetch date method that returns a current date as a string. Then it has a get independence day method that returns the independence day of the United States of America, which is July 4th, 1776. So what we want to do is we want to partially mark this bean so that we can stub out one of these methods in our test. And then we can call the other method on the real object and it should return the values accordingly. Let's go back to the actual integration test. So here we see we have the date service and it's been annotated with this spy bin annotation. So what this does is that it's going to make or create a spy object out of this bin. And if you come here to our test, get date uh, test, we will see that we have two things going on here. We are stabbing the fetch date and instead of it returning today's date here, it's going to return yesterday's date. And then for the actual call to the independence day, we're just going to call it directly and it should return what we have specified here. So that essentially is how we're doing a partial mock because on one side we are mocking or stabbing the fetch date method, but on the other side, we are calling the real get independence day method. And when I run this, this test should pass. All right, let me go ahead and run this test. And there we go, it passes. So hopefully this has shown you how easy it is to use Mokito's spying functionality to partially mock your objects.